Every year I brave the storm. <laughs> the night parade, and we go to the marketplace, and we go to San Fernando, and where any place where there's a party. What are you going to do for parking? It's probably have somebody drop me off. Over, uh, yes. Okay, parking is just ridiculous downtown right now. <laughs> it's just crazy downtown, so basically anywhere. A lot of construction everywhere, and it's just everybody for fiesta is here. Before you start thinking about what you're going to eat, drink, and celebrate, the question you got to ask yourself is, where am I going to park? Where do I go? Can I turn here? Can I go straight here? There's only one lane open. Or can I turn? Whoa! We are on Alamo. There's a bunch of traffic cones, so I have a feeling this is where it's going to get pretty tricky. I'm Priscilla Karaman, a producer with KSAT 12, and I'm going to help you weigh your options. Fiesta Fiesta is Thursday, April 20th, and it's normally right here at Hemisphere Park, but as you can see, there's a ton of construction going on. And that's exactly why they moved it here to Travis Park, because parking around here won't be as big of an issue. There are at least seven parking lots and garages within walking distance. Just be prepared to pay a premium. Back here on South Alamo, it's a different story for Nyosa. So your best bet is via park and ride. All right, Lorraine, so if you could just start by telling me what is the biggest benefit for people taking the via park and ride? The biggest benefits are that it is very fast and it is very inexpensive. You won't have to worry about finding parking downtown and paying crazy money. You can use that money instead to enjoy the delicious food and other treats that are available during Fiesta. One of the most enjoyable things about using the Via Fiesta Park and Ride is the vibe on the trip to get there. I've taken the Fiesta Park and Ride service, especially to Nayosa. It almost takes me back to when I used to go on a field trip in elementary school. Everybody is so excited on the bus. Uh, we don't have to worry about driving or parking. We can just enjoy the experience of getting there. You're going directly from the Park and Ride location to your Fiesta drop-off point. There are no stops in between, so you get there quicker. I've definitely used it personally to get down there specifically for Nayosa, and it was so carefree, easy, inexpensive, and I definitely recommend it to everyone out there.